Hello, my name is Bart Brecka, and today I am prepared to present a Hummer that we modeled for rendering purposes only to display graphics for the U.S. Army. This model was designed probably in Wildfire 4, if I remember right, but I'm going to share the model with you using Creo 1.0. Before I start, however, I want to present some of the classes we offer at Design Engine. Uh, I'm going to scroll down here and just kind of show you some of the classes that we offer. Pro Engineer classes, there's two pages of Pro Engineer classes, two pages of surfacing classes, for example. And I'll just kind of scroll down to show you. There's the Hummer we're going to present today. For example, our reverse engineering classes, we do one where we teach you how to reverse engineer something, and then we do another one to convert that data to parametric data. A lot of people tell us that's impossible, but uh, that's a workflow that I've developed, and that's this level five class here on the left. We also do a an advanced surfacing ISDX class for people that are already experienced in ISDX, but they really want to master the G2 continuity and learn how to design in the light reflection and in order to do automobile interiors or to really put on your resume you know G2 continuity and, and specular highlights and A-class surfacing that class is a must. I'm going to scroll up now and go to my uh, training material. I've already plugged in the login and password so I'm going to go in rather quickly. I'll scroll down to our level surfacing level 2 class here, which is basically a workshop we try to do in the third day of a one-week surfacing class. And that one-week surfacing class is offered just about every single month. It's typically the fourth week of each month. I'm going to click through it and scroll down. Kind of get an idea of what we do in a, in a day. This uh, exercise is everything you can do with the sweep and sometimes we spend as much as four hours in that class and that exercise alone. And here's the Hummer model. Okay, I've already taken the time to load the Hummer model into Creo and I just wanted to kind of share with you the model and get an idea so you can get an idea of, of what it takes. This is about 17 hours of work. I budgeted 20 just for the model and each each part can be modeled separately or kind of included into the skeleton um, these these brackets at the top are modeled separately so I can apply a specific material in Maya the the mirror geometry is is modeled so that I can apply the geometry specifically or the material specifically in in Maya and of course we need to put map tread on the tires and what have you. In this specific model we had a digital camouflage applied to the material and uh, we had it set up a little bit like the dragsters with uh, for NASCAR and, uh, and the, the uh, dragster series. I'm going to go ahead and open up the skeleton model. Actually, I've already opened it up. I'm just going to switch over to the skeleton just to show you how it's how it's built. Get an, just a loose idea how it, we did it. We, we dropped in specific images that we found off the internet and sized them specifically to dimensions that we've allocated off the U.S. patent website for this for this specific Hummer model. For example, I know the wheelbase, so I modeled a parametric curve that was that wheelbase and then I scaled the images down to fit that wheelbase. I'll go into insert mode a little further here. I've already kind of gone into insert mode. I just wanted you to see some of the basics and how we go about surface modeling this thing. In classes I give a very specific workflow and we practice that workflow and managers tend to really like it when you get back because you're able to look them in the eye and tell them how long it's going to take to model something when most people they can't really tell you. I mean that's why you hire an engineer is to figure it out but I want our our participants and students that have gone through our pr program 
to be able to have a specific workflow so they can estimate that time. So I can I can sketch out a model and say, gosh, that's going to take me 20 hours. So um, that's it for my presentation. Please consider coming to Design Engine in the near future. DesignEngine.com. Thank you very much.